Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was driving out a demon that was mute, and when the demon had gone out, the mute man spoke, and the crowds were amazed. Some of them said, by the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others, to test him, asked him for a sign from heaven, but he knew their thoughts and said to them, every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste and a house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebul that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. The Gospel of the Lord. As I'm getting older, I find that I have to say what I'm supposed to say right away, otherwise I'll forget it. So before I start preaching on the scriptures this morning, I want to let everyone know uh, we're in spring break at the, at the grade school, which means that tomorrow, uh, if you're so inclined and would like to come to the 8.30 Mass, uh, you'll be able to uh, because it won't be closed uh, with the restrictions for the students uh, to be able to be up here uh, by class. So tomorrow, if you would like to come to the 8.30, uh, that's a possibility, uh, 8.30. You don't have to get up early for the 6.30 uh, tomorrow. If today you hear his voice, Harden not your hearts. Oh, that today we'd hear his voice. This psalm is often used uh, during the Lenten season uh, a number of times. You'll hear it as a responsory along with the psalms. It's so powerful to reflect upon. Does God still speak. Even in the midst of all of our challenges, our disappointments, our frustrations, and, and even in, in our own busyness, probably our indignations. And <laughs> I, I don't know about you, but any given day, I can be so uh, susceptible to my own appetite, uh, to what I want, what I think is right, you know. And it can busy my head. And even in my own struggles, God is so good. See, the rain falls upon the just and the unjust. The sun shines upon the just and the unjust. God wants to communicate to us. So how do you know when God has spoken to you? Hopefully for all of us. Uh, I'll write down to the littlest people here. You know when you've experienced a moment that's inspired, a sunset, a conversation with a friend, just a deep inner peace, or an exhortation, a challenge that's brought to you for the good, an uneasy feeling when you've just said something uncharitable, even a faint awareness of, of self-righteousness. Pause. Let us all pause in those moments and hear his voice calling us to a deeper sense of discipleship, gracing us for actions on behalf of his gospel. 
Oh, that today we would hear his voice. Let us not harden our hearts. Let us stand and pray. For the church universal, we pray to the Lord.